I'm about to make the ultimate Santee rig with LED lights. Stay tuned and let me have your opinion. A little while ago, I published a video with the results of my season-long survey about using small LED lights associated with live bait. And in that video, I discovered that putting the LED light next to the hook in the middle of a Santee rig would be the optimum place to put it. Well, I've been experimenting with different types of ways to do that over the last couple weeks, and I'm here to tell you I've got what I think is a solution. And am I a believer in these LED lights? Well, <laughs> I bought hundreds of them from AliExpress. I'm a believer. Anyway, let me show you what the rig looks like. So let's run through making this. I pull off a bunch of mono, and when you got 440 yards on it, <laughs> no need to compromise how much you're taking. Then grab one of the little beads, green, they, they come in different colors. I like green and orange. And if you have a hard time threading it, then that's what the magnifying glass is for. So excuse my old eyeballs. A lot faster and easier doing that. Then the next step is to put a hook on. It's on. And now what I like to do is kind of put it in the middle of the rig like that. The bead is right next to it. And you can put multiple beads on here if you want. Then the next thing is to tie the dropper loop. And I tie mine like this. I can get that down there. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to grab both pieces, turn it around. And I've got a nail in the side of my, de my uh, workbench here. And I'll use that for the leverage to tighten it up. Don't forget the lubricate. I keep water in a cup. I think using spits kind of gross. Besides, I think the fish would reject the bait if they could smell my DNA. They would know that they're in trouble. Okay, so there we go. I got a nice small dropper loop on there. Next step is to decide which is up in terms of the hook. Okay, clearly it's that way. I'll take one of the LEDs, first check to make sure it works. You know, I mean, you never know. And I drop it all the way down, and now I'm going to decide where I want that in relation to the hook. So I want it close enough to the hook to attract the fish, but far enough away from the hook to where it doesn't get in the way. And all I'm, gonna, all I'm doing here is I'm running the line back through the LED loop twice. You can do this once if you want, but you can see that's not going to move anywhere. Now, I know that there's guys that are going to say that this is going to compromise the strength of my line. Well, that's one of the reasons I use 30-pound test is because I realize that's going to happen. And I don't think I'm going to need more than the compromised value of 30-pound test when I'm just catching slot reds and I have my drag set properly. So the next step on this is to make two surgeon's loops at the top and the bottom. Surgeon's loop, you make a loop, and you know, Grog's knots will teach you how to do all this. Turn it around, push it through, push it through again. So basically it's like a double overhand knot, and then pull it tight. I'm gonna lubricate this and tighten it up. Then I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom, but I'm not leaving room for a big weight down here because that's where my trick with the bobby pin comes in. There we go. I'll tighten that up later. So your bobby pins look like this when you start. What you're going to do is you're going to snip off this part and end up with a pin that looks like this. Then stick that through your loop that you created. And then this is going to hold the weight. Well, how's that going to work, Steve? Well, hang in there. I'm going to show you. I like using these egg sinkers. And basically, you put your egg sinker through, and now, depending on how much resistance you want for a hang-up, you're going to bend the tines. Because the theory is that this is going along, it gets caught, and then it comes off, and so you save your rig with the LED light that could cost you a buck or more, depending on where you get it. I'd much rather lose a egg sinker that costs 30 cents an ounce, I think this is a half-ounce sinker, so this is worth 15 cents than a 
LED light, it costs a lot more than that. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I bought a bunch of these. So I got them, I think, at 70 cents or something like that because I bought them in quantity from uh, Ali, Alibaba. So there you go. And now, if this ever got caught up, it would pop off and my rig saved. And depending on how hard you cast, you may want to bend the tines more or less because you don't want your cast to fling off the, uh, the egg sinker. Now, I do not leave the egg sinker on. What I'll do is I'll weave this rigged up and then I'm going to put it in one of these little jewelry bags you can get from Walmart. They're three by four. And I make a bunch of these in advance because you can see that it takes a lot of steps and I don't want to waste fishing time making these when I'm out on a boat. So that's what I'm doing this winter, making a bunch, be ready for next season. So what do you guys think? Oh, and the uh, float, it goes on the running line depending on the depth you want the, the bait to sit at. And of course the weight is going to be all the way on the bottom, but it's going to keep your bait up in the water column and hopefully away from crabs and attractive to fish as the light flashes and the body of the bait flashes a little bit as well. So anyway, I'm going to put this wherever I think that appropriate depth is, and that's going to keep everything up off the bottom and away from those evil crabs. If you guys have a better way to do a Santee rig, boy, I'm all in for it. Please throw it in the comments below. And if you have another way to attract fish beyond fluorescent little beads and the LED light, throw it in there too, and I'll try it out this coming season. And now, a few words from my granddaughter about what you should do next. Bye, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon, and make sure to smash that subscribe button. Bye!